Hey guys, what's up? So, in a previous video, I had done a uh, restoration of this old RB Concept C4, powder coated it, and but I wanted to try my Truggy. Um, this is a Mugen MBX5. Don't obviously have some mods. Um, bought this used on eBay on that one lot a few months ago, and it actually has an Ofna 28 in there right now. Um, so I'd actually be going down in, in, in uh, diameter size, but. Uh, one thing I can't stand about like some of these entry level engines is that with a, any any sort of pull start or electric start like I have on the back of us now, but it originally had a pull start, is that it creates a huge amount of parasitic draw. You know, and it also creates a lot of noise too, you know. You know, because it's moving the gears back there, you know, there's a, there's a one way bearing in there, but still, I mean you have this extra weight that's attached to the back of your crankshaft, which is like killing power. So I'm just kind of wondering, like, will the parasitic draw, removing that, actually overcome the smaller diameter of this engine? I expect to lose a little bit of the bottom end, you know, because I'm going to a smaller engine, bore size. But, I mean, usually smaller engines, or at least short stroke, if this is short stroke, I don't know what the stroke is, but short stroke engines rev higher. So, I'm going to pop this out, get the air cleaner off, and, uh, yeah, the diameter... The, Venturi, it's a fixed Venturi. You can tell it's a low-end carburetor when it's, uh, the Venturi is fixed. There's no way to remove it. Um, yeah, it's a Force brand, Offna, whatever. But what's weird is like Offna made a couple. They, Offna actually had were selling Picos for a while. So, all right, I'm gonna get this engine out, and that's my new dynamite pipe I did in our video. But uh, all right, we gotta go. There, they are side by side. I mean, this is actually a pretty big engine, the Offna. Like I said, man, that, that's such a bad, it's parasitic draw. Like, no high-end engine will actually have a pull start or uh, electric start. All right, I got the engine in. So now I just got to set the carburetor trim. It's obviously a different engine, different opening, so I got to make sure that's correct. And I got the... Might need like, some small length adjustments here a bit. Yeah, I got the, the max length. All right. Kind of a bummer. I take this whole thing about them again. The the uh, flywheel is not big enough to touch my bump box. I mean, I can can I push down really hard, but that's gonna be a headache. So I got to change the flywheel to a different clutch. Kind of wanted to use this like Italian-made like racing or works, but you know, just I can't get down far enough. So all right, well, I'm kind of I couldn't use this clutch. This is a works clutch, but made in Italy. It's an adjustable clutch. All right, but yeah, this wouldn't grab. This diameter wasn't big enough to fit, hit the bump box, the wheel on the bump box. So now I'm gonna get in contact with the bump box. Uh. All right, guys, engine's primed, ready to go. Like I said, I've never run this engine before, so I have no clue. Pressure seems like it's all right, not fantastic. Got my. All right. <laughs> 